Dragon fruit should probably come with a warning label, but they are absolutely stunning. So let's paint them. Grab your watercolors and give them a spritz. We really just need a pink and a green for this one. Also grab a paper towel. This is gonna be great practice for practical lifting. We wanna fill our brush with a bright pink color. Lots of it. Then we're gonna make kind of a teardrop shape and we're gonna fill the whole thing in. Once it's filled in, wash your brush and then tap it dry. Using the shape of the brush to lift, we're gonna tap out some of these kind of spiky areas. You might notice that you need to tap your brush dry between lifting strokes. I want mine to stay a little bit wet so these colors bleed together, but if you want yours to stay really separate, you could dry it now. I'm going to fill my clean brush with a bright green color, and at the top, I'm going to just flick up a few times. Then in each of those areas that we lifted out, I'm going to touch in and make a little point. I'm going to add a couple little flicks to the outside. We've painted the outside of a dragon fruit. I'm going to do mine in a grid pattern though, and I think it's going to look so cute, but I want to alternate it with a different view. So for this one, I'm going to fill my brush with a bright pink color, and I'm going to start by making the outline of that teardrop shape. I'm going to round off the top because the inside part is kind of an oval, and then fill in that top bit. Wash my brush, and again, I'm gonna fill it with that bright green color, flick at the top, and a few at the sides. Now that we've learned how to do both of these views, we're just gonna alternate between making the one that's the outside skin, where we lift off and then add the green in, and the inside view where we're seeing that circular cutaway. I'm gonna alternate mine in a grid of three by three. I'm loving this so much. It's so bright and fun, but I think it needs one more thing. And before I do that, I'm gonna let it dry or make it dry. The final touch is going to be to grab a pen and just make some dots in those centers. I knew this one had potential, but it is even better than what I thought it was going to be. Two colors, a little lifting, and a pen. 